Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my January favorites of 2015 and I cannot believe one month has already passed in 2015. I remember when this year just started, like I feel like it just started and I remember New Year's Eve like it was yesterday and I just cannot believe a month has passed. Like, I wish time would go by just a little slower because I want to enjoy life and I feel like I can't sometimes. But yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and get started with the favorites because I have a lot of favorites to show you this month. So yeah. So I forgot to mention that if I'm wearing like a same the same shirt and that I am in another video, it's only because I just find this shirt really comfy and this is like one of my favorite shirts ever and I just wanted to wear it today and I just got back from class and I have to go to another class after I film this video, but today is like the only day that I have to film a video. So I am filming it today, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with the favorites video. Okay, so starting off with makeup like I do every single month, my first favorite is this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous foundation, and it's in the shade 105, and I know I talk about this all the time, and I talk about the concealer all the time, and these are just both the Ready Set Gorgeous line from CoverGirl, and usually CoverGirl um, products break me out, and I think I showed this in my last favorites video. I'm not really sure I think I did but anyways these are just like the best face products that I have ever used it's better than the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation that I used a while back and it's better than the NARS this is better than the NARS concealer that I use and yeah I just really really like this and I like the packaging I think it's really super cute the concealer is in the shade light medium if you were wondering and yeah, I really like this. And I usually use this underneath my eyes and it really brightens them up and makes them look really, really, um, it makes me look more awake. So yeah, that's why I use this. And then this is like a lightweight foundation, but it covers up your skin or it covers up your blemishes really, really well. And yeah. So my next favorite is a rediscovered product that my mom actually bought for me when she was at Target because we don't have a Target where we live and she went there um, out of town one day and she got me this NYX blush and it's in the shade Mocha and I love this blush so much. I love NYX powder blushes. I think they are one of the best, um, they're one of the best blushes that I've ever used and it really just looks like a mocha shade and I don't know if you guys can see that but it looks really really pretty and then whenever you put it on your skin it's just even more pretty prettier and I just think it's a really pretty like I don't really know how to describe the color I guess just mocha because that's what the name is but yeah I don't really know how to describe it but I love this blush so much and I okay so my next makeup product is this Maybelline New York Master Smoky thing by iStudio and it's just a eyeliner and it kind of it just looks like this and I um, just got this this month I have never seen or heard anybody talk about these before and it's just like a purple pencil and you have to build it up and it's like because whenever you first put it on it's like really really sheer but then you have to build it up and it kind of looks like a grape kind of color I think purple eyeliner looks really really good on your waterline I don't know why and then it has this other end where you can like um, smudge it out. It just gives it a more smudged out kind of look. And I really, really like this. And if I smudge it out using the um, other side, it just looks like this. It kind of looks the same, but a little bit more smudged and a little bit less pigmented of a purple color. I also have a green one, but I haven't really used that one that much because I like the purple one better. I'll use the green more of like in the winter or I mean in the fall time because I like the purple for winter. Okay, so my next makeup favorite is this Cora's Lip Butter and I actually rediscovered this this month because I lost it somehow. I don't even know where it or I never knew where it went to until like a couple weeks ago and it was under or it was back behind my desk which I got rid of because I got my new makeup vanity for Christmas. And whenever I was cleaning out my desk, I found this behind it. It must have fell somehow. And it's just in the shade Pomegranate. And it looks just like this. This is a lip butter, but it's not like as pigmented as the Revlon lip butters. This is way more sheer. And I will actually swatch it for you and show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. It's just a really pretty pomegranate -y. No, that's not even a word. It's just a really pretty pomegranate color. But if you have to keep rubbing it in to make it look even more sheer... And yeah, I just think it's a really, really pretty color. And I wear this on my lips for the days that I want a natural look. 
So my last makeup product is this e.l.f. matte lip color. My Walmart sells e.l.f. now and that makes me so happy because I don't have a Target and Target sells e.l.f. and Kmart sells e.l.f. which they just have mostly like the dollar stuff. I haven't been there in a while. They probably have more um, stuff now but anyways this is in the shade natural and I think I heard I forget who I heard talk about this but that's why I wanted to try it because I've heard a lot of people rave about these here on YouTube and it's just a really pretty natural mauve kind of color and if you guys want me to do like a favorite drugstore like lip products video then let me know or like a lip product collection because I would really love to do that because I love lip products they are like my favorite makeup product ever I just cannot live without putting any kind of lip product on um, throughout the day I just love reapplying lip products I just think it's so fun, I don't know why, but I just think it's fun. So the next product that I have is just this Mary Kay Extra Emollient or whatever, I don't even know what that means, but it's just a night cream. And I don't even know where my mom got this. She's had it for a long time, I think. And I put this um, in between my finger right there because I have like a dry patch and it just won't go away. So I recently, like a few days ago, I had discovered this and I love this um, product so much. It has helped my dry patch so much. It's not going to go away right after you put this on. But it will heal within a couple days. And it will make your dry um, skin go away. And you won't have dry skin anymore. And I think that is amazing. And you can apply this anywhere that you have like a dry patch. Or like anything like that. But I just use it like in between my fingers because that's where my skin gets dry the most, especially in the winter time. And I just love this product and I think you guys should purchase it. If I can figure out how much this um, costs, then I will put it like right here or something or in the description box somewhere. But yeah, you guys should definitely check this out. It's an amazing product and it's just, this might just be a sample size. I'm not exactly sure. But it says for very dry skin and apply a small amount to clean skin. So yeah, um, I don't know. But yeah, I love this product and I will always continue to use it now whenever I have dry skin in the winter time because it helps so, so much and I have seen a big improvement in the dry skin that I have. So my next favorite is this body lotion and this is just a little travel size and it's in White Mango Chill and it's from Bath & Body Works obviously because that's like all I use and I need to use up like so many of my Bath & Body Works lotions and speaking of that I have a Bath & Body Works collection coming soon for you guys I actually deleted one of the clips um, one of the parts of the video so I'm gonna have to refilm it or I'm gonna have to refilm the whole video because I don't know which part it was I have to might I might have to just go back and figure it out and then just refilm that part because I really want that video to get up for you guys because I actually got requested to do that video but anyways, I keep getting off topic, I feel like. But anyways, back to the lotion. I really love this lotion, and I'm just trying to use up some of my lotions. And it just smells like mangoes. It just smells super good. And this is more of a scent that you would use in the summertime. But who cares, because I'm just trying to use up stuff. Because I want to do an empties video as well, because I love those videos. And this is almost gone. It's like down to here. It doesn't look like it, because I keep shaking it. But, yeah. And I'm super hyper, and I don't know why. Me. Okay, so that is all for my beauty favorites of this month. Now on to my random favorites. I love you guys. So my first random favorite is this phone case. And I showed this in my last video, which was my updated what's on my iPhone video. And if you guys want to see that video, I will actually link it in the description box. Because I am ver very proud of that video. And I have got a lot of views on it so far. And yeah, it's just a spec case. And it's just gray and pink and I got this a couple weeks ago or last week or whatever and I've had it on my phone ever since then and I love spec cases. I think they're so protective and like I said in that video, if you guys want me to do an updated iPhone case collection then please let me know in the comments below because I would love to do that and I hardly get any comments on my videos and I really want you guys to comment on my videos so I can interact with you guys and follow my Twitter and Instagram which will also be linked down below because... I want to know more about you guys. I feel like I don't know much about you guys and I just want to know more because I don't know anything about you. And So my next random favorite is a food favorite and it's kind of healthy. It's like a healthier option to chips and they are 
these garden veggie straws and they are sea salt flavored and it says now with sweet potato and that's what the orange ones are and I think the green ones to me they taste like sausage I don't know my mom thinks I'm crazy but yeah I just think they taste like sausage and the yellow ones they taste pretty good too and it says 30% less fat than the leading potato chips so yeah that's pretty good and I think that um, is a really good option if you don't want to eat potato chips all the time because like I used to like I eat potato chips all the time and I just think this is a healthier option that I've been trying to not eat chips as much like I eat Chex Mix and I think that's better than chips and I think this is better than chips and yeah I just think these are really tasty and they're really good and the sweet potato ones that they added I think they're really good too and you're gonna have about 38 straws for one serving okay so my last favorites of this month are my song favorites and my TV show favorites and my TV favorite has been Pretty Little Liars Switched at Birth and the Fosters because that all came back on this month and I have just been loving it. I love those shows. They are like my, my favorite and I think Switched to Birth is my all time favorite right now. I just think it's been getting so much better ever since Bay like took or I'm not even going to tell you because if you guys haven't watched that show or if you haven't caught up yet then you guys should go watch it on Netflix because I think it's on Netflix and yeah that's pretty much my um, favorite shows of the month. I love TV. I watch it all the time and yeah okay so my music favorites of the month have been the song take it on back by chase bryant it's a country song and i love country music as you guys know it's like my favorite genre of music okay so my next favorite song is the song lay low by josh turner and he is a country singer and i have just discovered him this month he's like a christian country singer and he's his songs are so amazing and i love his voice and i just cry like whenever i hear his songs because they're sometimes really really sad and i love the song lay low oh my gosh you guys should just go listen to it it is on itunes and you guys should just go listen to it oh my gosh i want to die every time i hear it it's just like one of my favorite songs and I just love it and yeah, that's all I have to say because it's just an amazing song. Okay, so my last favorite song of this month is the song Ignite by Ricky Dillon. It came out this month and his whole album came out this month, his RPD, and I just think it's an amazing album. I've only actually heard a couple of the songs, but my favorite is Ignite. And yeah, I just love this song. I think Ricky has an amazing voice and I would never tell him that he doesn't because it's just an amazing, he has an amazing voice and he deserves to be a singer and he deserves to be happy. And he's a YouTuber. If you didn't know, I'm sure you guys already knew that because everybody knows who Ricky Dillon is. But yeah, his voice is amazing and I want to just, I want to give him a big hug whenever I meet him and congratulate him for everything that he has accomplished because He's a YouTuber and he's also like a singer, you know, and I love RPD, Ricky P. Dillon. That's what that stands for if you didn't know. And I just love this song and he wanted to make it cheaper for us. So it's not like the actual full price, like $129. I think it was like $0.99 cents, and I think that's an, ama that's an amazing deal. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And before I go, I wanted to say that my friend Lucilla made a channel here on YouTube and I will link her channel down below. You guys should go subscribe to her because she already has two new videos up. Her first video was um, a tag video and it's just like getting to know her and stuff. I think you guys should go check it out because her channel is really good and I can see her channel growing a lot in the future and I'm really proud that she finally made a YouTube because I've been telling her to forever now and yeah I'm really excited and for her and I really want you guys to go subscribe to her because she deserves this um, the love and the subscribers so yeah I will link her channel down below and she's one of my really really good friends so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Love you. Oh my gosh. I forgot to turn the camera off. Oh my gosh. I'm so dumb guys. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.